So I'm gonna be chaperoning the trip. So it's the band and choir. It's gonna be a intense few days. But we roll out of here at about seven, between like 6.30 and seven. So yeah, we'll be in New York at like 8 a.m. Where are we going? We're going to New York, you probably can't hear him. And his band trip. The choir is here too. So just stopped off at a rest area, about two hours in or so in Ohio. So, it's cold, <laughs> but no snow, so that is good. This is a really nice rest area. They had a Burger King, they have a Pan Express, and Sparrow's coming soon, and a Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins, bathrooms were clean. Yeah, nice rest area. All right, I'm back on the bus. Hopefully everyone will doze off, so I'll see you later. On our way to the Museum of Modern History. <laughs> ah, almost there.
right near Aldana Pay Museum of Modern Art. It was cool. Pro tip, there's bathrooms on all the floors, so don't wait 20 years at the first one you see. Just go up a floor and there'll be more bathrooms. So, made that mistake. So now we're heading over to lunch at Johnny's Pizza. We're at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Um, there's Lady Gaga. Looking fabulous. Oh, Ashton's making some music. for men men
was more fun that way. It said more fun this way. You should send this to Rowan. Imagine not being here, Sammy. <laughs> Fury. <laughs> Is Ashton worthy? No, maybe not. We are doing a dinner cruise on that ship down there. We get to see the Statue of Liberty in the distance, and DJ, buffet. So yeah, it's exciting. I did just kind of dump some of my stuff as soon as I walked in the door. So, sorry. Um, kind of weird. I'm in room 420. So, this is the Hilton Newark Airport Hotel. So, right when you walk in, the mini fridge is here, which is kind of different. Closet. Got a few hangers, safe, ironing board, iron. Some of those hangers look a bit rough. Bathroom. Evelyn and Crabtree products. Okay. Definitely could use some upgrades in here. I mean, that shower head's kind of gross. And then quite a bit of rust there. Yeah, a little disappointing in the Hilton. And then we have two queens, kind of this fancy lamp guy, this 
see if I can get some light on. Here we go. Old school looking phone. Um, some plugs, USB plugs. Nice ass TV. Doing this chop during our ice bucket, cups, freeze dart, some drawers. Yeah, I wonder why the mini fridge is not in here. And it's over there. Maybe something's going on. I mean, there's some exposed wires there. Also, not great. <laughs> okay. Um, desk area. Sorry, this is where I threw some of my stuff down. Some art. So second floor is the workout. Lobby level for the plane. Uh, dining options. I'm not gonna, I don't, I won't have time to do a full hotel tour. They have us packed. Um, the over like, lap table. This is a nice chair. This part's weird to me, though. Mm. Big tall lamp there. Let's check the bed. Oh, I think that's gonna be comfy. Honestly, it could be like a cardboard box if I think it's comfy right now. Because we left Michigan yesterday a little after six, and we slept on the bus. Oh, I didn't mention the little bench and the little bench. We slept in the bus, or tried to sleep in the bus, from, you know, Ohio on. Not great. <laughs> and then we were going, so we got into New York um, by the Plaza Hotel. I think it was like 9 a.m. And we've been going, and it's 10 o'clock at night, so. Yeah, and we were up tomorrow. We have to be downstairs at 7. So, we tired. All right, I got some stuff I got to do. I probably need to do payroll tonight. So, yay. All right, sorry, I forgot to show the view. It's pretty much highway and parking <laughs> for the airport. Which is fine. It's quiet. I don't hear anything from the highway, so that's great. I can see down into the lobby. Hello, people checking in. All right, future Melissa here. So just kind of a recap on that day. It is a beautiful day here in Michigan. We're in early March. So nice and warm, definitely feels like spring. So the day was a whirlwind. So as I mentioned, you know, we left Michigan like Thursday night. We got into New York Friday morning and hit it, you know, hit the ground running. So we went to the Museum of Modern Art, which was cool. I'm not like huge into art, but it was really cool to see some Van Goghs and like Water Lily. Um, so just some of those really famous pieces. And then I really liked the, you know, like the bunker area that you guys saw in there. That was really cool. Um, more like immersion art. There, I didn't show it on the vlog, but there was these balls of stuffed animals that were like abandoned stuffed animals. That made me so sad. Um, but it was really cool. I think I liked that one better than I liked the one in DC at the Smithsonian. Um, but they both had some really cool items. So after that we went, I didn't vlog the lunch, which was Johnny's Pizza. Um, they gave us like a buffet, so it was you know kind of a prefix thing. It was pretty good. Our tour guide did say that that's still pretty touristy pizza, that there's definitely better pizza in New York. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily suggest that if you're trying to get like a really good authentic slice. But if you want something that's, you know, easy and kind of safe, it is in a really cool setting. The building was a church that they bought and renovated. So it still has a lot of beautiful stained glass in there. So that was really cool. It's actually huge in there, tons of seating. And then from there, we went to the Wax Museum, which when I saw that on the agenda, I thought, oh, okay, you know, I'm probably horny, whatever. But it's actually really cool. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Madame Tussauds, that I originally judged you. It was so much fun. Um, the work is beautiful. And I couldn't believe some of the scenes in there, the tons of cool photo ops. We really enjoyed that a lot more than I thought. The horror section was actually really cool. Um, 
if you scare easily, you might find it scary, but overall, like nothing jumps out at you. Um, that projection of Pennywise popped up, and I think that was the only thing that was kind of a jump scare, I would say. But it was really cool. I would definitely go to other Madame Tussauds in the area, and their gift shop was actually really reasonable. So that was a cool place. And then after that, we had some time to do a little shopping before we got back on the bus to go on our dinner cruise. So our dinner cruise was Spirit of, I think it's called Spirit of New Jersey dinner cruise and they had a buffet for us and then there was dancing and they went, you know, along the water to the Statue of Liberty. So we got to see the lights on the shore. It was beautiful. Um, the Statue of Liberty, which was really awesome. There was two other schools in addition to our school. <laughs> so I definitely would not, like if I was a solo traveler, I would not pay the price of, that that is for like my family to go. But it was cool to do with the school. A lot of the kids said that was one of their favorite. So they got the chance to dance. I'm surprised they had energy to do that. Right, Leia? Leia! Hi! <laughs> surprised they had energy to do that after being on the bus. But, you know, kids, man. Um, and there was like some checkers and chessboard for like kids that weren't really into dancing. The song I put over that obviously was not the song that they were dancing to. They were dancing to <laughs> ABBA, Dancing Queen, and then Justin Bieber, that Oh Baby song. I didn't want to get copyright, so I threw that song over them. Um, but they did good. It was fun to watch them out there and stuff. After that, we went to the hotel. Um, as I mentioned in the video, that one definitely needs some renovations. It wasn't gross or anything, but it definitely is showing some wear and tear, some rust, some scraping. The shower head was kind of eh. Water pressure was great though. Um, I don't think I mentioned that in the next video. But yeah, overall it was it was a good stay there. Uh, right, well let me know if you have any questions on day one of our New York trip. And make sure you subscribe so that you can see the next day where we do like the 1911, we do a bus tour, um, some Broadway shows. So busy days ahead. All right, thank you. All right, the resource for today's video is the United States Department of Health and Human Services, the human trafficking hotline. So in the rest areas, there was a lot of like stickers and signage if someone is experiencing human trafficking um, where they can reach out to, which is great. Some of the placards did have, um, you know, little pieces of paper removed from them, um, which I'm glad people are getting to that resource, but sad that we need it. So the texting option is 233733, and then you would text be free to that number. And then the main line is 888-373-7888. And it's a 24 hour line that provides assistance for anyone needing help regarding human trafficking situation or seeking information about human trafficking anywhere in the country, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, well, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.